South Africa in October can offer adverse weather conditions if you're a mountain biker and today is no exception. The Absa Cape Epic is at its penultimate stage and the skies have opened, dumping 32 millimeters of rain in the region. This is one of the toughest stage races in the world and the conditions are making it even harder. This prestigious event has Olympic medalists and world champions on the start line, along with bold, keen amateurs. They cover the same 620 km course over the eight days, climbing over 15,000 accumulated meters. Today's stage six is a loop out of Wellington, starting from the Cape Peninsula University of Technology's fields. The riders take on relentless, short, sharp climbs and descents through the vineyards before the wild boar roller coaster single track. True Grit is the final technical section as they complete the 81 kilometers and climb 1,850 meters. On the men's start line, currently in fourth position, are Team Scott Buff with Hans Becking and Jose Diaz. They are chasing Trek Pirelli of Samueli Poro and Fabian Rabensteiner in third place by less than three minutes. In second is Bulls 2 with Martin Fry and Simon Stiebjohn. And six and a half minutes ahead are Team 91 Songo Specialized of Jordan Saru and Matthew Beers in the yellow zebra leaders jerseys. The start gun goes one hour later than planned to avoid the downpour and with it the sun comes out. The ground will not have had much chance to drain so it's going to be a cold wet day in the saddle. Stages like this can throw a spanner in the works for the teams. They will need to fuel themselves well and try to avoid mechanicals. The elite women make their way to the start line for stage six. In third, our team faces CST with Candice Lill and Mariska Strauss. They sport the deep red African leaders jerseys. Just one minute and 20 seconds ahead are Team Salusmed, Robin de Kruit and Ariane Luti. And in the orange zebra leaders jerseys are Laura Stigger and Sina Fry from 91 Songo Specialized with a convincing 28 minute gap. The UCI women's field leave the start line for the second time as they head out into the Wellington wilderness. All the favorite women's teams stay together for the first third of the race. 33 kilometers into the race, the GC leaders, 91 Songo Specialized, are feeling the pressure. Jordan Saru, the 2020 cross-country world champion, has a chink in his armor and gets dropped by the leading teams. Partner Beers pulls him along and they yo-yo back and forth, never more than 15 seconds behind. They rejoin after just five kilometers. The race for third on GC is in hot contention, with yesterday's winners, Buff Scott, again in the lead group, one minute ahead of the chasing Trek Pirelli pair. But it's the Dutch champion Hans Becking that is struck with a mechanical problem. The mud playing havoc with the bikes, they have a flat from the sharp rocks washed across the tracks. The gap they've worked so hard to make is lost as Trek Pirelli overtake. Buff Scott plugged the puncture but lose two minutes. Coming out of the Land Rover technical terrain aptly named True Grit, Bulls 2 and 91 Songo Specialized are together in the lead. One minute and 34 back are the two teams fighting for third, Buff Scott and Trek Pirelli. The All-German Bulls 2 pair and the overall leaders of 91 Songo Specialized close in on the finish line. Bulls 2 have positioned themselves well for the final stages leading the group, but it is Saru attacking on the right-hand side and Beers on the left. The Germans manage to block them out and get away. They open a small window and claim their first ever Absa Cape Epic stage win. Team 91 Songo specialized in second, just one and a half seconds back. Even after all the bad luck throughout today's stage, Team Buff Scott MTB managed to take another podium just over a minute behind. In third today, Jose Diaz and Hans Becking from Buff Scott MTB. Still in the mix for a GC podium place just 47 seconds behind Trek Pirelli. 91 Songo specialized Jordan Saru and the South African Marathon champion Matt Beers in second. And the winners of the day are Martin Fry and Simon Stiebjohn from Team Bulls 2. For the first time ever in the men's category, a team wears the yellow leader jersey from the prologue to the final stage. It's Jordan Saru and Matt Beers from Team 91 Songo specialized. In the women's race on the second climb of the day, Team Salusmed are struggling. They just can't hold the pace today. 91 Songo specialized and faces CST see their chance and drive hard, dropping Luti and De Groot. The South African pair of faces CST are looking bulletproof today. Straight off yesterday's stellar ride, their motivation is high. However, they have the leaders to contend with. 91 Songo specialized have dominated the whole week and are not going to give a millimeter. The Swiss-Austrian duo want a clean sweep. 
Faces CST and 91 Songo Specialized are going toe to toe and it comes down to the final kilometer. It's all about the positioning on those puddle ridden dual tracks. It's Strauss in the lead and Team 91 Songo Specialized lining up in second and third with Lil at the back of the group. Strauss is opening up in the sprint but Lil is the key for the South African team. The time is taken when the second rider crosses the line. It's been an arduous stage and Lil just doesn't have the legs for the sprint. 91 Songo Specialized take the victory, making it a clean sweep on this stage six. Team Salusmed come in in third with more than 12 minutes to the winning team. They lose second place in the GC to face a CST and drop down to third. In third today, Salusmed with Ariane Lutin, Robin de Groot. Getting better day by day and finishing second of the all South African faces CST duo, Mariska Strauss and Candice Lill. Unbeaten so far at the 2021 Absa Cape Epic, Sina Fry and Laura Stigger from 91 Songo Specialized. They retain the Orange Zebra leader's jersey and have 30 minutes on the rest of the field going into tomorrow's grand finale to Val de Vie in Pal.